Alright y'all, so it's Wednesday. Went and looked at a few cars today and come across this uh, Trans Am or Firebird. And so the battery was shot, so we brought this battery out of Tommy's wrecked Impala. And waiting for the guy to get here, he's still at work. This back tire wasn't on the car, so had to air up the tire, jack it up. Still some lug nuts off the other wheels. Got three lugs on each wheel. <clears throat> so I'm just airing up tires. And yeah, it's missing the side mirror. This window, I guess, is stuck down. It's been rained in. But he said it runs and drives. And it's 500 bucks. So just gotta air up this other tire. And then I have the Camaro as a parts car. So I don't know, I guess we'll see how this uh, goes. But yeah, so it's definitely gonna have to do something with all of this. But I figured if anything, it'll be, it'll be a good parts car good donor car so I'm going to finish airing up these tires and I give you guys another update when the guy gets here and we start a run hey y'all look here she running idling nice and smooth Super smooth. It's just cosmetic, but drivetrain is great. <clears throat> what y'all think? Worth 450? It runs and drives, so I think it's a done deal, so we're gonna get it to the house and give you guys another update all right you guys we got it so I'm gonna follow him back over to the house and I'll give you guys another update once we make it to the house We got him in a car for 450 bucks, so he's gonna have to pay me back. I'm gonna let him make me a couple payments, you know, 250, 200, whatever, 225, 225. That way he ain't just broke. And uh, yeah, so now Tommy's got this uh, Pontiac Firebird, and so I told him I've got that Camaro, so we can use some parts from it and. If it turns out he don't want this car, then I'll keep it and I'll use it to fix up the Camaro or use the Camaro to fix this up and then I'll do the work and I'll have it and I'll throw the turbo on it. But for now, he just needs a car. So it was a good purchase. It was a good deal. So I'll give you guys another update once we make it to the house. All right, y'all. So we made it to the house. I mean, really, the car seemed to do pretty good. It def definitely needs some suspension work. And this tail light is like half full of water. So, yeah, we're going to have to pull that and dump that. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll end up going by the uh, Camaro and probably trying to get it, get it moved somewhere away from out of Kevin's driveway so we can actually do some work and start swapping some shit. And then still gotta swap the gas tanks from the wrecked Impala to the white Impala. 
and then I, don't know, I guess we might be taking the 20s and putting them on the Firebird because these are a dual pattern and I think these are the same pattern so these might go on the Firebird and then we'll just have to put the 16s back on here <clears throat> and then I'll just have to find another wheel that's got dual pattern Oh snap, a light bar. Fuck yeah, I got it for a fucking plug on. Snap. I wonder if it works. All I gotta do is have a dog on it, take it out. Shit, bought a car, got a free light bar. Hey, we can put that in place of the the headlight over there that's missing. <coughs> Be able to see damn good then. Yeah, we need to get some more lug nuts, too. We need to take some lug nuts off that Camaro. <clears throat> Each wheel's only got three lug oh, nuts wait. on it. Huh? He smokes. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I just pulled the bulb out and put it in the center it's console. Back it looks like it's open. Oh yeah, it is open. Oh, and it stays open. Yeah. There's some floor mats, seat covers, some lights. Some lights. Oh, headlights. Some more floor mats. Oh, some gas treatment, some Freon. There's another light over there. Oh, I bet this is the stock light. The silk, the fucking. Oh. It was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Found some old smoked on weed. Yeah. Oh, these are Toyota Celica yeah. floor mats. Well, see, I see one of these lights working there. Yeah. Oh, see, fucking... The plugs right there. Yeah. Actually, that was like the original. I don't know if it goes in there, but we gotta have the clips. Oh, those out. clips. It's got them. You just gotta yeah. unscrew it down here. Yeah. It's missing. No, oh, there you it's go. Yeah, I don't know where it goes. Well, let's see if it turns on. Oh, you gotta open it from the inside. Yeah, the thing came loose. Yeah. The door panel? Yeah. Right there. Here. Yeah. What? Right there. Yeah, the, the fucking thing that opens the door from the outside. From the outside. Look at the bar right there in front of you, bro. What? The bar. Push the, push the door this way. This. Oh. That's what opens the door. From the outside, it's gotta be hooked up. That's the door lock. Oh. All right. Yeah, I know. What if it's backwards? I'm gonna find out. Nope. Yeah, this motherfucker looks brand new. Oh. Motherfucker. Well, that's a bright. Yeah. I wonder if that's why the other, Wait, I don't know if if the, the low beam one ain't working. You're trying to hold this motherfucker down. That's why. Hmm. I can't fucking turn it. It's got that gloves on. Uh, okay. 
maybe like a zip tie or yeah, something to hold them over. I don't know if I have any with me. Yeah, I don't have any more. Look, bro. That's why. It was there like this. Oh. Look, a wire melted off. That's why that motherfucker wanted to stay on. See? That's from this one. That's from that side. But that means this light's good. Yeah. That plug, something wrong with that plug, something in that wiring on that one. That one's different. See, these are sideways and these. Yeah. Are... Yeah, turn this one. Dang, that's just annoying. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. It just gone <laughs> close on your one in earlier. I mean, will this one plug onto that light? I don't know. I can't see the back of it. Because I don't plug it this one still. You gonna pop the hood? I don't know if you're gonna do. I don't know if that'll work, dude. I think it was a really good purchase. Yeah. I mean, it drove all the way home with no issues. It doesn't sound half bad. I mean, just needed a battery and some air in the tires and a little bit of fluids. It needs some love, but... Thing that can get hot and 
catch on fire. And it's cool you've had one before too, so it's kind of like uh, bringing back the old memories. So what if we if we cut that green and black one off and wire it to the other wires? The plugs are different on it. Plugs on that light are up and down. Oh, okay. Is it a side to side? You like see how the plugs different? Oh yeah. No, they're same on that one. No, it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, this is right like there. Yeah. This was like that. So. <coughs> it was negative. But I mean, if we plug, if we take this green harness and wire it onto those wires and then just plug it into the other light and put it over here, mm -hmm. I mean, because it plugs into these other lights. Yeah. And we plug this one in and we know it works. Grab me some cutters. Oh. Thermostat seal. Huh. Got the cover. Nice privacy cover. Oh, hey, look, here's a screwdriver. It's a weird screwdriver. Found in the hatch. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna strip these wires, and uh, I'll give you guys another update in a minute. Hey, y'all. So we just got off work. Tommy drove the Firebird today. We just got off and fired up the cars. And man, sitting over here between the two, it sounded pretty good. They both kind of idled down at the same time and everything. It was crazy. I should have reported it, but... Man, this thing just fires up. It don't skip a beat. Just barely cranks the starter and boom! This thing runs great. Like, even though it's beat to hell, I think this is well worth 450 bucks. So... This could be a total sleeper. Even though it's beat to hell, we could totally throw a turbo kit on here. And don't forget the headlights. 
Headlights. Bam, there we go. Yeah, we got the other headlight wired up. Looks like my bright's freaking out over here. Awesome. Awesome, hell yeah. We're at 282,048 miles. Yeah. Security light, service engine, soon yeah. light, brake light. Uh -oh. Check gauges. What's the check gauges? Uh -huh. like, I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, right. you're, yeah, you're right on E, bro. Uh, it, the very right. Do I know? It wasn't that low. It didn't. It wasn't that low. I like, was on the way to work. Yeah, you need to go get some gas. I think you was looking at the battery yeah, gauge when you said it was at no, three quarters. Really? Well, I just gave you that 10 bucks. Go throw 10 bucks in gas. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think the bucks stuff's real. Like when I take off going down the road, that motherfucker will jump up and start moving. That's crazy. Shit, alright, bro. Fuck. I'll see you over at the house in a bit. I'm gonna stop stop by AutoZone. Alright, well holler at me when you get home. Yeah, I gotta go by AutoZone because yesterday when we was headed out there to Muskogee to go look at that, we went and looked at a gold Impala and then we went and looked at a Pontiac Montana minivan and then we went and looked at the Firebird and the uh, Impala, it had the 3.4 and it had blown head gaskets and when we put it in gear it died and, but we was almost out there, we was like 10 minutes away from getting there to look at the Impala and we stopped at a gas station to get some gas and some drinks and whenever we come back out, I started it up, and it was making a weird noise, and the supercharger belt, the tensioner, came loose, and the belt got sucked behind the pulley of the tensioner, and, like, ate three ribs off the belt, and, yeah, so it, it kind of sucked, and, uh, I had a just completely take the supercharger belt off so I'm running the NA right now pretty much and uh but yeah so I got on ZZP and I ordered a new belt and but it's not going to be here until Monday or Tuesday so I'm going to go up here to AutoZone and just see if they have a random belt that's the same same length and just try to get another belt and Cause I was wanting to buy a backup belt, so I figured if I go buy one from AutoZone for like 20 bucks, throw it on there, then when the ZZP one comes in, I'll throw the ZZP one on here, and then the AutoZone one will just be my backup for just in case. So I'm gonna head over to AutoZone and get this belt, and then I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all. So I'm at AutoZone over here, and uh, so. I measured the belt, it was 68 and 3 quarter inch long, and he said the closest he had was 68 and a half. It's for like a Chevy Cruze or something, and it cost me like $32, and but boom, belt is on, so I'm about to start her up and see how she runs. Alright, so, okay. So much better. Looks like I might need to swap out that tensioner here soon kind of bouncing around everything else looks fine
just that tensioner pulley. Oh, it's about to walk again. Looks like it's walking a little bit again. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna have, probably have to take the belt back off, make sure that's tight all the way. <clears throat> Man. Alright, y'all give me a minute, I'll give you another update. You guys, well, I just made it home. Turns out the the pulley was tight and the tensioner was tight. So I think I'm just gonna have to swap out the whole tensioner. So I just got home. I'm about to pop the hood, get the lights on. And I uh, have one more tensioner in the shed, so I'm going to go open the shed, grab that other tensioner, and go ahead and just swap out the tensioner just to be sure that I don't have any issues with that belt slipping off. Because once this actual new ZZP belt gets here, I don't want to have any problems with it. I just want to put it on, and it'll be good. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. So y'all give me a few. I'm going to get the hood open, get the shed open, get the lights on, and I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all, so I got... The hood popped, got the lights on. I haven't got the shed open yet to grab the other tensioner. But it looks like the belt stayed on. Doesn't look like I'm having any issues with it there. So hopefully I don't have any problems. But I don't know, it just I don't I don't see why there's so much wear right there on it if the pulley doesn't ride there, you know what I'm saying? It kind of looked like it was about to fall off, but I don't know, and then I was looking around, and then look, my oil catch can is just dumping fucking nasty yellow oily shit all over the yeah, fucking place. The yeah, that's because of the intercooler, but I didn't think there would be that much to go through that whole line into the oil catch can like that. But at least I know that the oil catch can is working. <clears throat> But yeah, I really need to pull mine back apart and pull the valve covers off and actually drill holes in them and put these fittings on the side of the valve covers and run two lines over here to the catch can. But I just haven't got that far yet. It's just been one thing after another. <clears throat> so, and then this weekend, I've got to go back out to Muskogee and do a transmission swap in one of these. In the same silver one, I did the transmission swap in before. Another transmission swap. So, yeah, still lots of stuff. And then I've got to do, pull the motor out of the Tommy's Wrecked Impala. Pull the motor out of my mom's Grand Am. Pull both of them apart. Swap one head. Do the new gasket kit and head bolts. Do the refresh on it. Get a new water pump and probably a new oil pump while I've got it all torn apart. And throw it back together, get the engine back in there. Then now we've got the Firebird and the Camaro. So now we've got to get the Camaro. We got to swap a bunch of shit around onto the Firebird and kind of fix that thing up some. And still got to finish the Grand Am, like my Grand Am. And then we still got to pull the motor out of the 97. There's still a lot of stuff to get done. So, but. I've got a belt on there, and then the ZZP belt should be here Monday or Tuesday, so I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and swap this tensioner out just because it was kind of moving around and shit, so I don't know, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm going to get the shed open, grab the tensioner, and I'll give you guys another update. Alright y'all, so got in the shed, I got the other tensioner out of there, it's a pulley that was on it, so I'm about to pull this belt back off. Unbolt this tensioner, pop the tensioner off, and this bearing in this one doesn't sound the greatest. So I'm going to see if the bearing in this pulley is still good, and hopefully it's just the tensioner and not the bearing in the pulley. So I'm going to pop this belt off and get this tensioner off, and I'll give you guys another update. Alright you guys, so I just got the whole tensioner swapped around with a different pulley. So the pulley, this is a pulley that came on that tensioner, and it wasn't sounding that great. So I got in the shed, and I had this other alternator bracket, and it takes the exact same style pulley as this original one. You can just see it had the extra wear on it. 
and then even if you look at this one it doesn't you can just see that extra wear on that one that this one doesn't have <clears throat> and then the one that came off of there is the same way it doesn't have that extra wear on it either so and then uh, I took this bearing and it spun the best and sounded the best so I took some oil put some oil in it on both sides spun it around made sure it's spinning nice and smooth and then uh, wiped her down and slapped her on here and just got it bolted down so now I can get this belt uh, run back on here and get it back on and then uh, I'll give you guys another update all right you guys so I just got those pulleys popped back on here just so I don't lose anything so I've got my 15 millimeter socket and my belt tool here so pretty much I just need to run my belt back around the pulleys where they need to go and back up here to the supercharger pulley uh, take my 15 put it on the tensioner and then you'll pull it back towards the radiator support and that will loosen the tensioner and it's where you can slap the belt on and then when you let off it'll tension back and put tension on the belt so I'm going to go ahead and get this belt slapped on here real quick and I'll give you guys another update alright y'all so I've got my belt tool on the tensioner so now you just take this and you pull it back towards you and that springs the tensioner loose and then when you let off and it puts tension on the belt it makes the belt tight and then I always like to push it up some so it pulls it back <clears throat> pop your socket off and now there we go now the belt is on you just got to make sure it's on everywhere I've already double checked it's on on all the pulleys exactly how it's supposed to be on mine I have my hub pressed on to where the belt likes to ride in the center of all the ribs on the pulley so that's where I keep my belt and everything looks nice and straight and in line so hopefully don't have any more problems out of the tensioner <clears throat> and then, I mean like this one it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it maybe it's just a little loose or maybe it was just a mix between the uh, the nut backed off and this pulley was kind of making a ticking ting 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 It sounded a lot worse when it was on the, the tensioner. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I have no more problems with this. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the keys and start her up and see how she sounds. See any movement out of the tensioner. So that's great news. So that should fix that problem. So I guess there's just a worn out tensioner. What can you do? I'm gonna have to figure something out with this. All right, I'm gonna grab this oil cap. Get a couple of legs. Sounds much better. Much better. So, oh yeah, now I just gotta reconnect that. 
I forgot I undo that to give me a little bit more room with using the tensioner, the belt tool. Just gives you a little more room to get the tool in there. Oh yeah, so hopefully that should fix my problem. So I guess I'm gonna get this stuff picked back up. And uh, we'll go give her a test drive and I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all, so I'm on my test drive. Sounds pretty promising. there was no supercharger belt so I'm happy with that I'm gonna go back over to the house and uh, I'll give you guys another update hey guys it's Friday just got home Tommy's about to do a cold start on the firebird Super low on air. That back one. Yeah, you want to do your? We'll air it up. Damn. Yeah, she smoked it. Huh? Oh, it's the headlight. Yeah. God damn! That motherfucker burn him Woo. up. Woo! Well, fuck! <laughs> you can go oh. fast, but can you do that? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, we need to air that tire up, though. It's low. Yeah. Yeah, it's damn, she smoked it. It's alright. Hell yeah. Alright, I guess we're going to air up this tire real quick and I'll give you another update. Hey YouTube, alright, so I just made it back over here to the house. And, uh, car is running way better, way better than what it was. And so, I'm really happy 
made a lot of progress on the 07. I mean, even though the video wasn't even about the 07. Uh, but I mean, we made some good progress. We got Tommy a car for super fucking cheap. And it was actually the cheapest car that we went to go look at. But, <clears throat> yeah, really can't be any happier. You know, I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks. The belt fucked up and the tensioner fucked up. And I had to buy two belts. But not that big of a deal. So Tommy's got a car. It's running and driving great. I've got the 07. It's running and driving good. Uh, David's got the 97. It runs and drives great. But uh, it just it needs the head gaskets done. And we need to put the cam in it and all that. So, so we got a lot of stuff to get done. But uh, we're steady making progress. So I think that's going to be it for this video. So leave me a like if you like the video. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. And uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And uh, you guys have a good night. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.